I'll be calling you a radical. Yeah, that's snow in June in Utah from 100 degree temperatures to high of 100 right here in northern Utah to high 57 in two days. So this is important. All you sent in Opry San Diego. So the shill rat is up to it again. I've tried to tell people this beyond nuclear. They are not anti-nuclear activists. I mean, I wish Tom Hartman would wake up. They are not. They're pro-nuclear. So as you know, the waste from San Onofre, every place else is headed to Whippin, New Mexico, which lots of waste there. He shows up now. He shows up now. You know how much waste has gone to Whip, including from Fukushima, Japan, through Savannah River, the Moxfield Ferry Tale. This guy is not. A, Thomas Ackerman asked him right to his face. Well, he says, you know what he, he had the nerve to say? He was an abolitionist. The guy's a freak. He's a fraud. So John Hurley to Kevin White. Yeah, that John Hurley, the National Press Corps. When I've given my million mass march speech, him and Goldie Hawn. Kevin. You know this Kevin Camps is beyond nuclear. They're at every party. Social they're everything. They claim they're anti nuclear. You know, and I says You know, he pays himself a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. Now, as an anti nuclear activist, and I've been in this community forever, they get huge funding. You're not getting shit for funding in this movement. I can tell you that right now. This guy gets giant funding. Why? Because the nuclear industry funds him. I can prove it. So he files suits to block it to come to New Mexico. It's just like the exact same people. I mean, these pro nukers use these shields, just like they did public watchdogs roll in. I've been involved in the San Onofre shutdown and the whip dynamic from before you even knew what whip was. When it blew up on the guy that announced it right here, the container right here. This is not WHIP, this is West Texas. So he's even got the lawsuit wrong. They're trying to block Song's waste from coming to Texas, Holtec. He's even got the lawsuit filed. I mean, this is, this is how pathetic these guys are. The waste isn't going to New Mexico, it's going to Texas. Holtec's taking it to, he, this is how behind the curve they are. Because they get funded by the nuclear industry, funded just like when public watchdogs rolled in on San Onofre and the canister was a giant rouge. I, I've talked, I can factually prove that that was a 100% sham to raise money. Public watchdogs were there to ride Kevin Blanche's back like everybody fucking does. Like Mike and Gary got five million. I get shit. I mean, I think about this fight. What a nightmare. I can't believe the abuse of Kevin Blanche as far as these other activists and I do all the fucking dirty work and for nothing. I'm about ready to fucking quit. I know that. My tide pool work, my fucking hearings work, my Senate offer shutdown work, my fucking whole tech fucking work. I'm going to ask Kevin Camp something, this fuckhead. And Paul, where the fuck are you going to put it? You know, this is my gig everything. So everybody, oh, they always have a, we can't shoot it into space. They're, aliens are going to fucking fight it. Okay, okay. There are no good answers. Quit making the fucking shit, for one. They never have an answer, do they? There are no fucking good answers. This is the best fucking solution by a billion times. This is the San Onofre fucking waste. By the way, the San Onofre generator is going to arrive here in Utah tomorrow. I'm going to try to get out there. Energy solutions, I mean, I'm a little strapped for fucking money. You know, maybe Kevin Camp's going to send me a fucking couple hundred thousand. So they filed suit trying to block the San Onofre waste, the Coltec. Number one, fuck it, it's not going to fucking New Mexico. It's going to Texas. And by the way, Rick Perry's all for it, and so is Texas. It worked through the legislative process in the state of Texas. He says it's to protect states like New Mexico, who from the, he says this is a fucking soup. The consent-based hearings, I went to all the consent-based hearings. They went to every state by state by state. By the way, Idaho consented. So did New Mexico. So did Texas. Texas consented. Go ask Rick Perry. You know, they want it. It's worked through. There's a bill, Mike uh, Levin and myself, not that crazy right wing freak, Mike Levin, though, the Mike Levin Congressional District 49. We've been working together on this priority bill. This is a sham, just like the fucking thing sham. I mean, I, I'm so sick of it. The Helen Caldecott's of the world, the fucking Kevin Camps of the fucking world. They aren't any Gundershields. Why do you think nothing's happened until Kevin Blanche fucking really gets involved? 
You know, I'm the activist that wins. These guys don't do shit. Where's the response? So, where's the answer? I mean, I love all these guys that just play defense, block, block, block. That's the, the nuclear industry loves it. So, where is it you're going to put it? <laughs> Leave it on site in spent fuel pools, Harry Reid? I don't think so. You know, so. Unreal. Shields. All the money I have gets freaking out. I'll I look back on this fight pool of leukemia. I do all this fucking dirty work for all the years, and these fucking pieces of shit get rich. I'm fucking so disgusted and so disgraced. I can't believe the way it's played out. I really can't believe the way it's played out. Thank you, everybody, has support the story for it, but frustrated. Oh, I'm way past that fucking thing. Way past. I've done the work of a thousand fucking people, biologists, where they're real anti nuclear activists. They're real fucking activists that wins, and I get shit. So. Fucking sham artist. Stay in tune.